boom to the hey, all you sports fans, or to you, the individual as part of the collective out there in the two bowl sphere. Welcome to Fast Track Sports Rack Highlights here on Talk Radio Version of OMSR. I am your host, Will the Alternative ESPN Sports Thrill. So, what does all that catchphraseology mean? Eh, you know, sports rack, it's on display. Fast Track means it's going to be pretty quickie. Although, I've been waiting for a repeat of this to show y'all for a long time. We're talking the SEC championship game, first conference championship game ever, be it a risk, back in 1992. Now, this hasn't been on the air since August. And the first rendition being digitized out on digital cable from the U of ESPN was very splotchy, pixelated, you know what I mean, when uh, that upper echelon of channels, you know, above, you know, in the three-digit range, above 100, it was terrible, it was a terrible recording, and I was going to put them up, this is split up into six parts, because it was an hour-long show, so... Obviously, I'm not going to take an hour-long show and, and throw it up on YouTube. You, you can't do that anymore. The point is, this was a much better broadcast. And I'm not too sure if it's going to be shown again this year because we're already halfway through the college football season. So it's great viewing, parts one through six. you got to check it out. They speak for themselves. This will be the baseline show if you haven't seen the other ones. You really should start from part one so you can see all the way through to part six. It'll make sense. It'll take you back in the Wayback Machine. All you dudes from my generation, late teens, early 20-somethings, even your 30-somethings, you know, you'll get a kick out of it. Hearing Keith Jackson, a young Der Gary Danielson, I was going to say Derek Danielson, and the intro music for ABC back then. How, my, how things have changed, not only in the sense of what they were showing and how it's evolved in college football, but ABC used to show all the big games back then. Now the SEC's on CBS. Very fascinating stuff. You'll love it. You'll get a kick out of it. Shout out to my girlfriend down there in T-Town. All right. Thanks for watching. Plenty of other stuff on the channel for your entertainment needs, college football needs. Later days and more signature plays. You know, it was the scenarios of doom and gloom that everybody had thrown out there that, hey, you're going to cost one of your teams a chance at the national championship. That discussion was there. I, I'll be the first to admit it, and I heard that criticism. Let me be very honest with you. I was on my way down to the field to review with the officials the rules that would be in place for the overtime. Walking through the stadium corridors to get to the field gave SEC Commissioner Roy Kramer some relief. At least he didn't have to witness the drama unfolding with just under three and a half minutes left to play. You know, there's that sense of impending doom. Florida had been tough to stop. I mean, when they had the ball with the game tied, you're thinking, well, they're going to they're gonna just go right down the field. We scored three touchdowns on them on some pretty good drives. So, uh, yeah, we looked pretty good. We went back out there series, and I was just like, you know what? They, they're doing the same thing to us, and they run the shovel pass, then they run a high-low routes. I mean, the same routes all day. And I was just like, you know what? At some point now, we, we, we got to gamble. The Alabama defense has got to stand up right here. Well, it's the best against the best. The Matthews holds 14 SEC records, and you're going against the number one defense in the country. Tie game, Florida ball. First and 10 from its own 21 yard line. stepping in front of that ball, it was like time stopped. 
When Matthews is throwing the football, Langham is already in front of the receiver. And he, when he released that football, a million things run through your mind. Don't drop it, catch it, tuck it away, run, score. Don't stop till you score. Do this and do this. But all of a sudden, I'm like, just catch the ball first. I wouldn't celebrate what I really want to do is just fall out on the grass and thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it's my responsibility. I shouldn't have thrown it, but I just came back and I thought Antonio Langham was drifting to take away the corner. And uh, I threw the hitch out there and it hit Antonio right between the four and the three. It's fitting that a game that was the ultimate gamble for the SEC turned on a gamble by Antonio Langan. Instead of splitting the difference between the high and low routes, he guessed that Matthews was throwing short. Antonio, you pretty much kind of gamble on that play. We'd been hitting the hitch route. Basically, we're high-low in the corner there. And uh, you broke on that ball pretty well. I had no earthly idea what was going on behind me. That one particular player, I was just like, I'm just going to sit here and see what happens. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a shot. <laughs> Hopefully, he may throw one. It was like, you came, you, when you got it, you took those steps, and it was just like, you just turned it like he threw the football. <laughs> I'm for real, man. It was like, this, my guy, this big man said, he threw this football. Langham gambled, but Matthews also telegraphed his throw, and it still haunts him. You know, everybody remembers that play as well as I do. I mean, I still have nightmares about it. Heavy is the first. When one wants it so much. Uh, sometimes bad plays happen, and uh, that ended up being the, the winning score. Alabama win the inaugural Southeastern Conference Championship game. After that game, I kissed and hugged Antonio like he was my girlfriend. <laughs> the Alabama players weren't the only ones with a reason to hug Langham. Well, it was interesting to sit there and watch it. You know, whichever team won was fine. As in retrospect and historically, you'd probably say, well, the, you know, it worked well for the <laughs> the conference that Alabama ended up winning the game, and of course made it possible for Alabama to move on and win a national championship. And sort of, in the very first year, took that criticism out the window. You know, all the, all the, the naysayers who had said, you know, that was the end of it. From my standpoint as a commissioner, that was kind of a, a load off your back because it, it proved that it worked. We're in our bandit right formation, which puts Willie at the Y. We got two receivers over here, and it's called blue slide righty. I'm going to take five hits and throw and make a good decision. Say, hey. Oh, oh here we go. Why you couldn't do that in the game? Why you couldn't do that in the game? Why you couldn't do that? You know what I'm You just rewrote history, baby. <laughs> You want me to throw a little softer? Yeah, that'll work, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it ain't the same they used to be, man. <laughs> <laughs>